Good morning guys, welcome to day one of moving vlogs. I am off to go and pick up the keys to my new place and I'm so excited. I'm moving as much as I can today, but I won't be able to do like big things. They're getting picked up on another day. So I'm gonna split this into a couple of moving vlogs. I wanted to do it on my main channel just because I feel like that's, you know, it's a big thing. And I'm very, very excited. So in today's vlog, you're going to see uh, an empty apartment tour and all fun things like that. I do have the top on that I cut. If you watch my vlogs on my vlog channel, I will link them down below. If you didn't know, I weekly vlog. Um, we uh, DIY this top which I'm very excited about but yeah I'm just chilling right now I'm about to go get on the tube to the place where I'm going to be living for the next year which I'm very excited about and um yes big big day I got a hot chocolate from Pat but you know we just get like drinks at places and they just don't taste good like I went into like another sorry I went to the pret nearest me and walked through like I walked past another pret to get to the tube so I went in the other pret and like stirred it around the stir all the stuff was at the bottom I was like oh that's why it doesn't taste right, but it's, it's a bit better now. But yeah, I'm just on the tube waiting to get on. I am very excited. Everywhere's dead. Like, I know it's Saturday, but it's like 10 o'clock, so it's not that early, and I don't know where everyone is. So I'm a bit confused, to be completely honest. I just went to get my sister's birthday present, and, well, not her main present. Her main present hasn't arrived, so I got her another present to give her on her actual birthday. Um, I'm off to go and get my keys, and I'm very excited. <laughs> I've just got the keys. And I am like over the moon. I'm so happy. I feel like, right, <laughs> here's the thing. I, I get the whole like, I've been very like the about where I live over the past like year. Um, but I can't really hide it here because kind of out the window you can pretty much tell where I live. So um, I'm just gonna say it. I moved back to East London. I'm very excited about it. I know no one lives in East London anymore and um, it's very much a thing that like YouTubers used to live here and pretty much everyone's moved to South London. Uh, however, I don't want to live in South London. I want to live in East London for now. So yeah, can you hear that echo? We need to fix that. So I'm going to give you a flat tour. I'm very, very excited. I just am over the moon. Yeah, I can't wait to get my stuff here. I'm not gonna lie, this is just such a, like a new chapter for me. I've had like a weird year, but I'm like in such a good place right now and I'm so happy to like make this my home. This is the front door just here. <laughs> and then this is what you see when you walk in. So there's like a little corridor, which is quite nice. And then this is just like a cupboard of like random boring stuff, but you know, it's a cupboard. And then this is the master bedroom. So you walk in, there's like a little bit of space here. And then, yeah, this is the room. So it's pretty, pretty decent sized room. There's built in wardrobes, which are actually really cool. Look, there's full on like shelving. Look, we love that. We love a bit of organization. I think that's cool. I can keep all like my linen and stuff there. And then in here is the en suite. It's just got like a shower sink everything like that i think these are cupboards yes so that's gonna be super handy then there's me hello <laughs> and uh yeah out here is just just the bedroom i guess i'm gonna have the bed like with the headboard here i think and then we've got windows with just the most incredible view and yeah so this is the master bedroom which is going to be you know nice and then moving around here we have bedroom two this is going to be my like office so i'm going to just fit this well hmm, my office slash wardrobe room so i'm going to fit fitted wardrobes all along here and then just have like yeah my wardrobes along here and then like workspace or i might do wardrobes along this wall that'll probably make more sense um, but yeah, this is like a really decent size room, so it's really nice that my bedroom too is like pretty much as big as the master, it just doesn't have a bathroom. And then in here is the cupboard for like suitcases, things like that. This is like a perfect suitcase cupboard actually. And you know me, you know I have a lot of stuff, so that's brilliant. And then this is what sold me on the property. like. It's so bright, and I mean, you can kind of see the view anyway, but the view's ridiculous. But this room is just, like, phenomenal. So, obviously, there is the kitchen area. It's just, like, a straight kitchen. I'm having, like, my high table just here, so it'll kind of section the room off a little bit. We've got fridge, freezer, just oven drawers. You know how it is. Uh, this is just, like, for glasses and things like that. And then this is like the living area, which is just ridiculous. Like this is phenomenal. I'm gonna get like a nice sofa and all stuff like that. And then the view is just like, oh my gosh. It's actually really funny because I can pretty much see both the other flat buildings that I've ever lived in. So you see that one just there. 
I lived there for a year with Jake and Adam. And then I lived like down there. Oh, you can't, there's a massive, this building was like only part built before. But um, yeah, I lived down there. Actually, is that it right there? Wait, let me grab, let me get my bearings. Oh my goodness. No, that's so funny. That building right there that I'm literally facing is my old flat just there. The, it was like the penthouse on that one just there. Wow, that's so funny. I can literally see both my old flats. That's hilarious. Clearly haven't gone very far from home, have I? <laughs> but it's cool. This, like, the balcony is amazing. The view over the city and like Canary Wharf is just phenomenal. Yeah, it's just, it's a bit crazy to be honest. Like, I am very, very happy. I'm so excited to like move all my stuff. I'm now going back to my other place to just move what I can in suitcases. I just, yeah, I can't believe that I get to live here. Like, I could cry. I'm so excited to like get on with life like that. I've been in limbo for like so long and I'm just so happy to be back in London, somewhere in London where I feel safe and comfortable and I'm close enough to drive home or just hop on the train home. I'm close enough into central London. I have everything I need. Um, I have friends literally over there. I can see the buildings and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm so, so happy. So we've got a moving in pack. Oh, I see chocolate, hello. Okay, this stuff's quite annoying but it looks pretty. So what do we have? Oh, okay. Uh, English breakfast tea. Thank you very much, love that. Chocolate, love that. Um, oh, sugar cubes for your tea. I'm guessing this is long life milk. Yes, it is. Oh, what we got? Wafers. Uh, oh, coffee. What's this? Oh, chocolate biscuits, tissues. Oh, is this some champagne? Some Prosecco, what do we got? <laughs> love how that's what I get excited about. Oh, sorry, mum. Of course, priorities. Get the champagne in the fridge. <laughs> I had some time to kill, so I went into TK Maxx and uh, bought this gold kitchen roll holder before I came here. Look at me with my gold kitchen roll holder. Love that. So I'm back. I've just put another layer under my jumper because it's freezing. I don't know if you can see I've got my holistic cardigan on. So I think my first load of stuff I'm going to take are uh, these three things because I can have this on my back. I can balance that on top of the suitcase and then it should be okay. So I'm gonna walk to like the nearest station that's like step free because the one nearest me isn't. And I should be okay. Like this, it's gonna be a task. Like this is heavy. This has got like bowls and plates in, but I think we should be okay. And we made it. They might not look like much, but they're sure as heck heavy. So I'm gonna unpack these right now, just like onto the floor, cause I need to clean everywhere first before, you know, we put stuff away. So I can take the bags back and go grab more stuff. You know, not much, not much, just bits and bobs, just, just little things. Oh, <laughs> so heavy. So this everything that I lugged in like one trip. I mean, it doesn't look like a lot, but there's clothes as well, let me show you. I bought this too and hangers are heavy, so I'm not being dramatic, this was hard work. I still can't believe I get to live here. <laughs> freaking out so bad i'm just so happy everything's unpacked i've been here for about 10 minutes but time to go again and get more i'm so tired already so the ikea bags are a good idea if you're not carrying them far but it was a bit hard so i've got both my suitcases this time so i'm just going to try it with two suitcases see how that works i mean this one's fine but this one's so heavy that it's just a bit of a nightmare but I'm hoping it's fine. I can like drag this one behind me and then pull this one. Then I'm like hands free, so I feel like it's a bit easier. But that's one. Is it, oh my gosh, I've only done one load. Wow, I've only done one. Oops, I've only done one load. But I'm ready to go again and uh, try and make this happen. Well, that was the most dramatic Uber journey of my life. Um, so I got an Uber because I was like, I had two massive cases. That one's like considerably heavier than the other one, and I was like, it's pretty much rush hour. So I was like, okay, we'll just. We'll just get the Uber instead of the tube. It was a bad decision. So like halfway through the journey, my driver starts getting out. Like this guy basically pulled in front of him and hit my Uber driver's car. Fair play, it was not the driver's fault. Although he could have let him in and the guy was like basically being like, let me in, let me in. My Uber driver was like, no. Um, Cause it was his right of way. But the other guy was just like, oh, you're being like, you know, being a nightmare, I'm gonna pull in anyway. Then which he hits my Uber driver's car. So it wasn't my Uber driver's fault. However, he then gets out of the car, starts shouting at the guy, telling him he's gonna slap him and all stuff like that. And the other guy's like, well, he shouldn't be so big headed and all stuff like that. They're shouting at each other. 
And it, fair play to my Uber driver, he was like, you know, I've got a client in the car, you can't go talk to her, don't be, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, um, and then he goes back in the car, and then we get, he gets me out of my location, whatever. It added so much time to my journey, I was really annoyed. And then, um, so I get out of the car, he goes, oh, the guy was awful, saying so many nasty swear words at me. I was like, dude, I could hear you, you're the one telling him you're gonna slap him, like... No! Here's the update, that's all the stuff. Come on, considering I've lugged this around London, this isn't bad. And I've popped the air mattress up because my new mattress isn't getting here until next week. And then this is the situation. We've got shoes, clothes, and then same on this side. This is where I've got my dresses for now, and then I've just got stuff that I don't have hangers for. Uh, but I don't think like this stuff will be staying here. But we'll see, won't we? This is uh, it's looking good right now. I'm gonna head back off to my other place. I need to go and get ready because it's my sister's birthday today. I need to go buy some balloons first and then get on the tube back to Northamptonshire. The tube, the train to Northamptonshire for my sister's birthday party. So this is part one of the moving vlog. I am gonna, you know, continue the next moving vlog which is actually going to be tomorrow, so it's just going to be combined. And then Monday is when everything gets taken out of my other place, and then we start moving all things from Northamptonshire. So, this is like the London part. If you want to see like the other part, then stay tuned, or click the link down below if you're watching this after October 2018. Uh, so yeah, I uh, will see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to day two of moving vlogs. Please ignore how gross I look. I was out at my sister's birthday party last night, so a little bit tired, but I'm in Northamptonshire, which means I was managed, like, I managed to grab some stuff that I needed. I actually packed a suitcase full of just cleaning stuff, which sounds so boring. But it means I can actually start putting stuff away, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, let's head back into London and make it happen. So team, I am here. The cleaning products are also here. This is what the suitcase looks like. So in this side, I've just got like window cleaner, bin bags, soap, hand soap. I've got, and then over here, we have, uh, oh no, the fabric softener thing's dented. And then, you know, just more stuff you need to clean a house. So I, what I'm gonna do, all this needs to be put away, but first I need to clean all this, like clean the surfaces and all the like cupboards out and stuff. And then we can start putting this away. This is full of clothes to put away and it's just, you know, gonna get it done. So we are clean and tidy and this is gonna be the first thing, wow, really smooth Emily, that's going to be uh, in the kitchen and cute. It's in, love it, first thing. <laughs> so I'm struggling, I can't decide whether to have my like mugs over there with the kettle underneath, then all my like cups in here like displayed, or have my, it feels like my kettle should go over there with them above there, so then I have to put my plates over there, and then I could put like my Nutribullet and my like KitchenAid and things there, my coffee machine, but then, or I could put my Nutribullet and my, my KitchenAid there, and then my coffee machine there. What do I do? I'm gonna leave it like this for now, but it just feels wrong. It feels like my kettle should be over there and my co like my coffee machine, but uh, I don't know. Okay, so I just took my shoes off and I'm about to go put my slippers on for the first time. So let's, this is worth documenting. <laughs> oh, yay. I mean, outfit goals, don't know about you, but the van socks look really good with the pink slippers. These are Gymshark leggings. They are so comfy. I've just got a Gilly Hicks bralette on. And then this is my Jack Wills top that's like split at the back, so it's great for like when you're doing stuff because you can move. And um, yeah, this is the outfit of the day. <laughs> I've just ordered food on delivery and I'm letting myself do it because I have no like, you know, no food, no, well, I have my, some of my things, but not enough to make food. So as soon as I get all my stuff here, I'm gonna stop doing the whole like delivery and stuff like that because it's just so expensive. So. Yeah, as of now, it's gonna take an hour for my food to get here. That's ridiculous. I ordered like two things. I do just wanna point out that yes, I am unpacking these things, but everything is gonna get washed. I'm just putting them in their place for now because I don't have any dishwasher tablets on me. So there's no point loading the dishwasher up. So I may as well put everything where it belongs so I know what space I've got and then I can, you know, wash it all when I've got the appropriate things. So this might seem like the tiniest thing in the world, but putting my hand soaps in the bathrooms and on the kitchen like sink, it's actually a really big thing for me whenever I move places. It's like one of the things it's like I'm in when my like hand soaps are in. So we have the lemon one in the kitchen. This, these are all Bath and Body Works. Let's go distribute. What do we have in here? Lavender or this is like the stress relief. We'll have the stress relief. Then I can have the lavender one in my bedroom. 
Amazing. Oh, yay. <laughs> little things. It's the little things. Everywhere's starting to look emptier here at the old flat. It's good. The, these are getting removed tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what to do about... Mm, I mean, I should take this to the new place, but I've worn it. Actually, no, I didn't get photographed. Didn't. Oh, did I? Oh, I don't know. It's hard. It's, it's a bit of a weird one with the vent dresses. Anyway, that's my self-portrait dress that I wore to Venice. And then this is what I'm wearing tonight to Talia's, I think. Unless I go all black, but I don't... I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Everything's just looking so messy here that it's stressing me out. I think I'm going to take my makeup over to the new place and get ready for tonight at the new place. Just so all the makeup's gone. Otherwise, it's just going to stress me out. We're slowly getting there. I've just got a backpack full of stuff. Can you see? And then I'm taking this as well. And then everything's just kind of... It's still going back to Northamptonshire. And then this is just being packed up. All them drawers are empty. All them drawers are empty. It's getting very real now. Do I get ready here or do I get ready there? Do I leave my stuff here? And I'm just like so confused. But then I remembered that I have a bath at the new place. I don't have a, I don't have a bath here. So I'm taking everything now. I can, can like get ready now. I'm going to go have a bath, get ready, and then go out for Talia's birthday. I'm very excited. And I made it back. I'm so happy. So I've just got all my bits and bobs put away now, pretty much. Uh, although they don't really have anywhere to go because I have no furniture here. So I'm going to leave you here for now. Thank you for watching this moving vlog. Tomorrow's is where everything disappears from the other flat. And then the one after that will be moving everything here. So yeah, I'm very excited. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. And I'll see you in the next one. Good night.